So the Queen Alexandra will be the final race of Royal Ascot for this season, and it'll also be my final race of 2023 for a hand over to Grey for the rest of today's race. And then we've only got four runners in it to Nauta 120, and the nearest Stormborn at the top. And he's finally gone Boris both for Grand Clutter, Captain Fame for Craig Beckwith and Charming Act for David Hooley. I won't say it again, I said it on day one when we had the other long distance handicap race. And this one being Nauta 110, I think shows you the point there away. And racing, the point being that it's not just the handicap mark that's the problem, it's the qualification for the handicap. Because at the beginning of this, you, your best run must have been over two mile four, I think, which means these were probably the only four horses that were qualified to run in it. Two mile three, was it? Oh, it's something like that anyway, but it's going to be very difficult to have that designated as your best run when there's probably only been two or three races over that distance, and most of the horses running over those distances are people's gold cup horses, so they'll be sticking them in the gold cup. I wanted to run my six fields in this, but I couldn't because it wasn't deemed to be worthy because of the handicap rating not not the rating the the, the, the handicap banding yeah he's uploaded as my two mile fours but just because one week he had a better run in a two mile two he's now declared as a two mile two or so he couldn't get into this which is ridiculous and he couldn't get into the race on day one because he was two pound out of the handicap too high to get into the handicap so something's got to be done about this long distance handicaps because they're all just going to turn out to be three and four runner races anyway charming act is the leader i don't know why i bother doing all that because the only people listening as i've said before are the people who are under in the race and one of them's gray who's doing the uploading anyway so he's probably not even watching it either he's probably seen it already anyway charming act in the lead david hooley and craig beckwith please agree with me and tell everybody <laughs> we need to change the rules on the handicapping for the long distance races to get some more runners in these races. Anyway, Charming Act is the leader. Oh, Captain Fay, I'm sure I wasn't the only one who sat there last Friday afternoon bewildered that they couldn't get their stayers into the staying handicaps at Ascot. Anyway, Charming Act is the leader. From Captain Fame in second. He's finally gone. Boris is third. The nearest Stormborn is back in fourth. Charming Act continues to leave. Not sure what the race at Goodwood is in a couple of weeks. I know there's one that's about two mile five. So if that's a handicap, then goodness knows how many horses will be eligible for that. Probably only the winner of this. And might probably the other three as well, to be fair. So it'll probably be these four again. Anyway. Charming Act in front there, although these might be too high now, they can't be getting into that, mightn't they? So, anyway, perhaps the three or four that ran on day one again, perhaps all seven of them will get in, and it'll be a race. Anyway, Charming Act in front, oh, he's finally gone, Boris, Captain Fame is in third, the nearest Stormborn is back in fourth, there's still a mile to go. And okay, we're ready for a couple of weeks off after this. Charming Act is the leader. He's finally gone, Boris second. Captain Fame is third. And the nearest Stormborn is back in fourth. The upload window will be open in a couple of days so you can fill your stables up if they're not full already. If they are full, tough because there's no retirements anymore. Sherman Act is the leader. To take any out, put new ones in. That's a rule that I was in favour of until now, or this season. I was so much so, so bad. I want to take all mine out just about. Well, I don't, because they're actually not that bad. They've just been handicapped out of it, haven't they, Grey? Apart from one or two. Anyway, Daenerys Stormborn is the leader from <laughs> Captain Fame. You can tell that from the amount of seconds of it. Anyway, Daenerys Stormborn is in the lead from Captain Fame in second. Charming Act is third, and he's finally gone. Boris. Is fourth. It's Daenerys Stormborn and Captain Fame. Disputing it. Yeah, charming act. Back in third, and he's finally gone, Boris. The back marker. Daenerys Stormborn has been around a season or two. 
Ooh, it's a bit of a class act in this race, really. Top white leads by about half a length there to Captain Fame in second. He's finally gone. Boris back in third. Charming up back in fourth. To the final furlong they go. The nearest storm ball misses the pot where he should pull away. And Captain Fame is finding back actually. And Captain Fame is getting close. And it's got to be close. This is going to be on the nod. And Captain Fame has got up to steal it. Captain Fame's won it. The nearest storm ball second. He's finally gone. Boris third. And Charming at fourth. And. Bit of a surprise there because Daenerys Stormborn should really have been the class act in that race and did not really go through with that run. And Captain Fame has gone up to take it. Well, let's look at the betting. Daenerys Stormborn looks like the outsider, so nothing makes sense anymore. Let's have a look and see what the card has to say about it all. Before we go, Captain Fame's the winner for Craig Beckwith. We'll be pleased enough with that. Daenerys Stormborn for Graham Clutter was second. He was indeed the class that looked rated 103. We'll have to gather to give a lot of weights away though, wasn't he? He's finally gone Boris for Graham Clutter but was third and charming act for David Hooley was back in fourth. He still ended up with something virtually out of the handicap even though there were only four in it. Anyway, that's what I'll ask it done for this year. I hope you managed to get your winners, get a winner or two in and a decent Christmas and I'll hand you over to Grey now. I'll see you all in 20. 24.